so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so in this video i am going to show you how you can make the dyes using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys so if you want to do practice on this project so you can download this project file from the description i will put the link there you can download from there free so now start the tutorial so here you can see guys if i will go to the edit mode of the cube so you will not find any kind of holes here because i have I've used the bullion modifier to make these holes okay here you can see i have used the uh, lots of bullion modifier here you can see the stack of bullion modifier okay and how i did this so i'm just going to show you and uh, if i will do alt h so here you can see we have a spares which is i have used the as a bullion okay so if i will hide this uh, cube so here you can see these are our uh, spares basically okay so I'm just going to uh, start off from new file. So I'm just going to delete everything and start a new file. Yeah. So first of all, I'm just going to add a one cube here. Here you can see. And after that, I will add uh, some bevel on it like this. Here you can see. Okay. And I'm just going to add a subdivide little bit. Control 2. So here you can see we have a subdivision modifier and we have a bevel modifier as well. So our cube is looking much more uh, uh, smooth now. Okay. So now what I will do, I'm just going to add a one spare here, and I'm just going to scale it and keep it one side like this. Okay. And I'm just going to smooth it for a while, and after that, I'm just going to decrease the size. So that is our uh, one side, and now I'm just going to copy this another side like this and go to the right view sorry go to the back view so here you can see we have a also here our spare so now i will add one modifier it's called array so i will just keep it here like this i think here and i'm just going to increase the number of uh, amount and i will increase the number of relative offset and so now i'm just going to copy this and after that uh, i just i will just change the axis to z so now we have a six of spare here now we can do little bit uh, inside like that so here you can see guys we have a six cube here so we have a number one and uh, always in a number one a position is uh, six and now i will add a uh, number four so i'm just going to copy this and do y axis and i'm just going to rotate it like this in a 90 degree here you can see and after that i will uh, put it here yeah like this yeah and i will go to the uh, my right view yeah and i'm just going to delete it one and uh, i will decrease the amount of one and i will increase the relative offset and now i will copy it and change the relative offset to like this so now we have a four spare also here so now i'm just going to copy it in a uh, other side yeah like this so for that I will delete it and I will add one more I will decrease the relative offset and I will put in a center like this yeah so in a fourth opposition always a three okay if you see the real die so you will uh, get to know okay, in a six opposition you will get one and in a four opposition you will get three and now we will make a five so for that i will uh, do copy it to shift d and i'm just going to rotate it 90 degree minus 90 degree and i'm just keep it in a top view like that so we have a four uh, spare also but we will we will just copy it uh, that one spare and uh, we will keep it in a center of those four cube so here you can see we have a here five and now we need a 
two one here so for that what I will do I'm just going to uh, copy this like this and I will uh, delete one array and I will uh, rotate it mm, 45 degree like this minus 45 degree and I will increase the relative offset so yeah so now we have a two also so you can see one two three four five six okay so if you see the real dice so you will always find the six opposition is a one and five opposition is a two and four opposition is a three okay and now it's time to bullion okay so how we can do this so for that I will uh, add a bullion modifier and make sure you copy first all boolean modifier so we have a one two six spare and one more extra for a five so we need a six seventh boolean so i'm just going to copy one two three four five six okay so now i'm just going to add it so here you can see i will just add a six i'm just going to close it i will add a one i'm just going to close it okay i will add a five I'm just going to close it I will add a four I'm just going to close it I will add a two I'm just going to close it and I will add a one this is also I will close and one more for that middle one yeah okay guys so if you want to see that bullion is affected or not so you have a two ways so first you can just uh, uh, go the uh, here in object properties and here you will see the visibility display sorry viewport display so you will see as a display as a texture so you can change the wire so now you can see the bullion here and we have another way also how we can do so we, we will uh, set it uh, solid again and now i am just going to hide it all these so for that i will press h select the object i will press h h H. so these will be height so here you can see our dice is ready okay and if I will go to the edit mode so that cube is as it is we didn't change anything in a cube we just change we, we just add a boolean modifier okay and uh, if you want to apply that uh, boolean modifier so you can apply as well but when you apply it so here you can see if I will try to apply it so I will just select everything and go to the hair and do convert mesh okay so now if I will uh, hide those things so here you can see it's permanently apply in a cube but here you can see you will not find a perfect mesh so if you want to know how we can remesh this so I have already video on that topic so you can see on my uh, channel that video name is how to uh, remesh the object so you will better get to know how you can do this okay and uh, that's how you can make the uh, dies in a blender okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also and if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely apply your comment so bye bye take care stay home